Hey, what is up guys? BeatUpLater95 here, and today we have part two of my three-part series reviewing the twin pair of Bind Bakugan. This is Giga Horus, and it is the Phoenix, and in my honest opinion, the equivalent of Iron Odin. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. But... Quickly around the box, we have the gimmick. The front part with the magnet is Horus. The part in the back is Gaga. Um, it's a translation error. It is pronounced Giga. We have what it looks like combined and transformed is bind system, of course. We have the gimmick on here, which luckily is explained on the box. The character, once again, and this is a different image than the original uh, variation, I believe it was Go Gaiaru. Once again, it is a 36mm type, as all Baku Tech are. And we have the protagonist and his friend slash rival having the most intense battle I have ever seen. If you guys have ever had a battle that intense, let me know. That looks pretty crazy. We have advertisement of Giga Horus and Go Gaiaru, then their combined forms, which will be next week, which is Go Horus and Giga Gaiaru, my personal favorite. And this one is a little bit more risky. Um, the best G power you can get is 660. The other variation, which I guess is the worst, is 640 G power. Then, instead of getting a guaranteed gate card, you get one of these two gate cards and one of these two ability cards, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure. I don't read Japanese, I don't speak it, so I can't tell you guys which is the better pool. And here is the ridiculous gimmick. So, there's six metal parts on this Bakugan, and the way the gimmick is incorporated in the show and on the box, the way you fold these will dictate the spin of the Bakugan. Uh, it'll go turn right, turn left, it'll have some super intense curve shots, and uh, I'll gladly do some testing in this video just to prove to you guys that this gimmick is garbage in this form, but what can I say? So, the ability card I got is BIND NOW! Um, I did figure out the translation for this. Uh, the character had a habit of swapping his Bind Bakugan around, and of course Pyrus gets the best because it's from a Pyrus Bakugan. It is an ability card. Gate card, I'm going to assume, is a character card. Um, once again, go Horus, but nothing too special. And here is Go, or I'm sorry, Giga Horus. I'm already calling it by its real name. As you can see, there are quite a few metal parts on here. It is the Mega Gear, or something like that. It has a super magnet, so it's good for battles. Not a lot to say about it, it's a magnet. We have the metal part gimmick, which just slides up and down, and depending on how they're set, like I said, the Bakugan is, in theory, supposed to turn around. More on the side, and on the tail, and let's just preset it while we can. Why not? Okay, so, up, up, and up. And to transform it, this one transforms a lot better than Go Gaiaru. Quick turnaround. We done did good. We got the 660. Hooray. And to transform it properly, we just pop out these wing tips here. Pull this up. The feet. And there you have it. Go Horus, or Giga Horus. I'm really used to calling it Go Horus. That's probably an issue. So, something I failed to do in the last week's review was show how strong the MG magnets are. 
So, these are two metal gate cards. Okay, so now it's not going to work on camera. Um, these are strong enough to pick up two cards at once. Um, I'm going to assume Horus might not be the best. Okay then. All errors aside, this is the Makugan. Let's fold it back up. Now, one thing that is good in my opinion about Giga Horus is that it gets a solid B+. Plus in my one hand test and that's where you can basically fold up the entire Bakugan in one hand which I don't know if I can do on camera but let's see I'll try to get myself to do it this time there we go super easy it's a very basic folding gimmick just tail the wings and then like such so we're going to quickly test the gimmick here, and as you can see, I'm going to have it set in a mode where it will supposedly spin like this. I'm not very optimistic after several hours of testing, so let's get this over with. Everything gets messed up when I transform it. Three, two... One, go, shoot! So, no curve whatsoever. And nothing. Uh, it's a gimmick. Sales gimmick at its finest. Um, you'll see in the next review why I bought this. But in the long run, if you do end up buying this, I highly recommend you buy uh, Gyaru with it. That being said and done, guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I am out.